At this point, Mel and Martell can really go to hell at this point because both of them are annoying. Drop the beat. What's going on, y'all? This is be your boy, Scott by Nature TV, and we're here for another review of Love and Marriage Huntsville, okay? Let me just let y'all know something. This video is late. It seems like every other weekend, I got something to do. Oh, my God. Like, it's, and you know what? The week after next, this video is going to be late again, so just buckle up your seatbelts on that. But I'm just, can I just say that this, is, this had to be one of the worst trips I've ever seen anybody have in their entire life? Like, how y'all gonna go to Vegas and not have a good time at all? Like, straight up. But I'm just gonna say this. Mel and Martell ruins everything. They're the most obnoxious set of people I have ever seen in my life. Mel and Martell both. I don't like now one of them. And I'm just being real. But we're gonna go on right on into it. Um, as you know, last week, um, Kimmy got into it with Letitia and Marceau over Jalen. Marceau feels like Kimmy never corrects Jalen, but Maurice hops in and says that she, that she corrects Jalen all the time. Only for Marceau to say, but that's because she's his mother. But you just said she don't never correct him at all. Pick, pick your battle, pick your struggle. Then, um, Letitia winds up apologizing to Kimmy and basically saying that she's always wanted her to be her sister. Um, if she really wants to get past everything with Kimmy, she needs to stop bringing up old stuff and she apologizes. So that's one thing that this dumb broad did was do the right thing, which was apologize because this whole issue that she even had with Kimmy was stupid. Just like she is, that was very stupid. And I just never understood what this issue really was with her and Kimmy. Never understood it. Probably still don't understand it, but it was dumb as fuck. So now we're asking, where's Mel? Where's Destiny? Martell was saying that Kimmy was being messy by asking where Mel is, but I mean, Mel was invited on a trip, so she's supposed to be coming. Destiny was supposed to come on this trip too, but she's not here yet. So, um, Martell helps Kimmy with the dishes, and they sit down and they talk about you know, she always feels like one day, um, no, 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 before we get into that, um, they said something about, um, no, Tiffany said something about a baby mama, um, do you, have you talked to your baby mama? And Martell said, I talk to her every day, but that's for, that's for my child. No, uh, Tiffany was like, that's for the kids. And then Tiffany was like, no, no, no. Martell was like, that's for my, that's for one kid. And then she was like, oh, you talking about Mel? That's not my baby mama. That's my ex-wife. And then Tiffany was like, I really wasn't being messy when I said baby mama. I mean, Melody is the father, is the mother of his, is, is, you know, Melody is the mother of his children. So she fits the title as baby mama. Girl, you know what the fuck you were doing. Y'all, I'm so sick of Tiffany and her caring ass antics. That bitch know what she doing. She real passive aggressive with her mess. She tried, like, she came in strong already, but now she's trying to be passive-aggressive with her mess. Girl, I know exactly what the fuck you doing. You know what the fuck you said when you said baby mama. You know damn well Martell does not refer to Mel as his baby mama. It's always ex-wife. You know that. So stop it. You know what you were doing. But now we get back to Kimmy and Martell, because I was moving too fast. Kimmy and Martell was washing dishes, and they were talking. And, um, you know, Kimmy was basically saying that she feels like, at some point... Uh, Mel and Martell would get back together. That's mainly because when she met them, they were together, and it breaks her heart to see them no longer together. But we have to normalize allowing toxic marriages or toxic relationships to end. We have to normalize that, right? We gotta normalize that, because at the end of it all, though, it's ridiculous. Like, I hate when people be trying to Make folks get back together and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, they don't need to be back together. Period. They don't need to be back together, like, at all. At all. They don't need to be back together. And I just need for people to understand that. Stop trying to make these folks get back together, child. It ain't. It, it just ain't gonna work at all. Like, he had a baby on her. He embarrassed her on national TV. There's no way for them to be back together. There is no way. And... We just have to understand that and just deal with it some kind of way because they ain't going to never get back together. I hate when people be trying to tell folks to get back together. It's just like somebody told me that me and my ex-boyfriend from 10 years ago need to get back together. I don't want to be back with that man. 
I went through a lot with that man. He's probably the reason why I'm fucked up in the head when it come down to men anyway. No, sir. So, Tiffany and Lewis have this boring-ass argument about um, Lewis doing stuff with the boys without Tiffany. And I just felt like Tiffany just needed a scene. Because, girl, he gonna do something with the boys without you. It's, it's pretty obvious that that's gonna happen. So, just stop it. Just stop it. Just stop with the looking for a storyline. Just stop it. He gonna be doing shit with the boys without you. Stop. It's gonna happen. It happens with me. So Melody finally arrives. She hugs everybody. So it seems like everybody's gonna have a good time. Destiny's still not here. So the men discuss marriage and relationships. The ladies discuss career and life after marriage. The men, um, I know Marceau said there was a lot of divorceable moments in their marriage, but he decided to stick it out. Um, Melody was talking about her career. And she always wanted to be a singer. She always felt like she could be a singer. But she always thought that she would do that with the man that she loved and not by herself. But maybe it was in God's will for her to do it by herself. And maybe it was. You know, sometimes God puts you in certain positions. And sometimes it's not what you thought it was going to be. But sometimes the way he decides to bring it together was probably the best way to bring it together. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what I think about the situation. I really believe that. Um, she, that's what she wanted. She wanted to be with him. She wanted to start her music career with him. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. It just didn't happen that way. But I don't listen to nothing that the men say because you got two men that were divorced and then you got one that's freshly divorced and then you got one who probably got a side baby. So child, bye. Okay? Like, bye. So they get on these carts. Um, I want to call them go carts because they, that's what the fuck they look like. But they but they drive off, um, and um, they start going to like this little area. I guess they were finna camp or whatever the fuck they were finna do. I don't know, but they drove out there. And um, Letitia pulls Maurice to the side, and um, she basically asks him for some help in regards to her marriage to Marceau, and just ask him, you know, to look out for his brother and make sure he's on the right path. I feel like Letitia's asking Maurice to do that because I think that she feels like Marceau really is out there messing around on her. Because he probably is. The way that he be acting, I just feel like looking at Letitia and Marceau, I just think that they tolerate each other. I don't think, I think Letitia really loves Marceau, but I don't know if Marceau really loves Tisha. I think that he pretty much tolerates her for the sake of the kids, pretty much. That's what I think. I think that... He tolerates her for the children's sake. He really don't care for her like that. And you can tell by the way he be acting with her sometimes that he really don't give a fuck. So, that's how I... So, Mel confronts Martell about Britney. And as she's getting ready to confront him about Britney, he, he calls her song Bullshit. From the moment he calls her song Bullshit, it goes all the way to a whole nother level. And... I, it just goes back to them spatting like little kids. And it's like, do y'all ever grow the fuck up? Like, do y'all ever grow the fuck up? Like, male playing the song to antagonize the man. Mar uh, Martell acting real childish, acting like a bitch-ass nigga, but he's not acting. That's what he is. It's just like, okay, are y'all, like, is this what y'all, do y'all like to do this? Are y'all doing this for cameras? Because I can't imagine doing this every time I see somebody that I used to date. Because when I see somebody that I used to date and we broke up on bad terms, I act like I don't see you. Like, you don't exist to me. You're not in my world. I don't have time to be arguing with you every time I see you. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous and it's childish at this point. And Martel and Mel are both childish. Both of them are childish. Like, Mel talk about Martel being childish. And I know we all be agreeing with her because of the things that he did to her. But she's just as fucking childish as he is. And it's pathetic at this point. Both of them get on my And on top of that, Mel know that that song, Tall Tale Signs, is about Martel. Like, she want to say it ain't all about him. Girl, it's about him. <laughs> it's about him. And then Martel said, you playing this divorce. You, She didn't plan shit. You playing this divorce when you was out here fucking that girl raw. You playing this divorce. You did it. So stop it. Just just stop. Just stop. Just stop. I'm over this shit. Like, I'm over Mel and Martel. And they're arguing. I'm over it. They, It's like, girl, get a life. Both of y'all get a life. Both of y'all getting on my fucking nerves, okay? Both of y'all are getting on my fucking nerves. Because it really don't, it don't take all this. It just don't. But with that being said, y'all, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also, click that notification bell if you're ready. If you want to be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on social media, my 
IG and Twitter. It will be in the description box. And I do follow back on IG. With that being said, you guys, this be your boy Scotty. I'm out of here. It's like 1.38 in the morning. I ain't doing no Salt, Salt Lake City review until the morning. Because I got to do my Karen Silva video tomorrow too, child. So, yeah. I'm going to rest a little bit Monday morning. But uh, around the afternoon time, we pushing them videos out, honey. Okay? So, with that being said, you guys, I'm out of here until my next video. I'll holler at you later. Peace. We can always find our way to a fun moment, even in the shady bunch.